Hello, everyone, and welcome to the best and worst of Walt Disney World. I'm your host, Pete Werner, joined at the table this week by my good friends, Mr. Sean Falk. Hi. Mr. Charles Boda. Hey. And Mr. Steve Porter. Hello. Now, in today's episode, we are going to do something a little different. Every so often, I think we'll break this out. This was Sean's idea, and I we really liked it. So we're going to give it a try, see what you guys think. Uh, we're going to call this Suck Doesn't Suck. Um, I am going to throw out a, a, a topic, a, a thing at Disney World. They have no idea what it is um, because we have not brainstormed it before. And in front of each of them is a paddle. One paddle says suck. One paddle says doesn't suck. And for those listening, don't worry. I will make sure that not, listening and not watching, I will make sure that we communicate what is up on the paddle because we are using visuals, uh, visual props for this. But I thought these were really cool. Uh, will Perry, our creative director, designed paddles for us to use. And I like them. Although they, they have a weird new sneaker smell, which I guess is better than an old sneaker smell. But anyway, so here's how, here's how this is going to work. I'm going to throw, throw out a, a topic, and these guys are going to vote whether they think it sucks or doesn't suck with their paddles. So we're going to start off uh, today, and we're going to talk about Fantasyland in the Magic Kingdom. And I'm going to give you some things in Fantasyland. You're going to tell me what your opinions on them are. We'll start off easy. Let's start off with Small World. Suck doesn't suck. And let's go to you, Sean. Doesn't suck? I said it doesn't suck. And Charles? Yeah, it doesn't suck. Doesn't okay. suck. And Steve? Doesn't suck. That's an easy one. That's an easy one. That's why I wanted to kind of get everybody in the, mm. in the, in, in the feel for it and, the, you know, kind of what it is. And then some of these are going to generate some discussion. Obviously, Small World's a classic attraction. Doesn't suck. So let me ask you this. Small world when it breaks down. Oh, yeah. I think you can sue if the, you hear the music too much. If you're stuck on the ride, I think they, like, have to... Someone, like, sue. I don't, I don't know if they, they won the case, but I think they tried to sue Disney because they heard it for so long. I'm not kidding. Really? Yeah, I don't know if they won, but... So, okay, small world when it's... I wasn't planning to do this, but small world when it breaks down. Charles, you say it doesn't suck. I figured I'd jump in. Yeah, uh... So, to me, one of the things I love about Small World is it's great if you're a Small World person and you really like that kind of thing. It's even better if you're with somebody who actively feels uncomfortable. And one time it broke down uh, when I was there. And I have a thing about clowns. <clears throat> like many, many sane individuals, I have a crippling fear of clowns. And so we were, uh, we were in the boat, and it's right towards the end, um, right before you come out, where all the clowns are there on, like, balloons, like, coming up and down. <laughs> you. And we were just stopped for, like, I want to say it, what felt like an eternity, but was probably, like, maybe six or seven minutes. And it was, it was one of the most emotionally and psychologically damaging moments of my life. And I love that about Small World when it breaks down. The the music, like, if you're with somebody who doesn't it turns like it, into a, it, turn, it, it turns into a horror film. Yeah, if you're with somebody who doesn't like it and it breaks down, they just wonder, like, how long is this going to last? Are we ever leaving? The, do I just live here now? So I like it when it breaks down. So Sean is actively holding up the suck sign. I, I mean, I think it sucks when you're... St- stuck on a ride pretty much anywhere so 99 percent of things I'm really there thinking. isn't a ride you like okay f- like <laughs> if there isn't a ride anywhere at disney world you'd like actually be okay i mean oh, with it breaking small down. Oh, small I, world's like one of the main ones that i might would just because there's so much that i've never noticed before and it's neat to figure out like which country you're but you in held up stuff. suck no but it would suck that's why i'm saying if that's the grand that's that's the standard like then anything less than that i certainly don't want to be stuck on it so i know one people love for it to get stuck on is uh because i worked on buzz uh, people love when it gets stuck because they can rack up their points Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, I particularly love getting stuck on Haunted Mansion, which happens occasionally. It's usually not for really, really long, but it gives me a chance to like look around and, and stuff. Um, to go off that, it's really fun to get stuck in the attic scene. Yeah. Because yeah. there's tons of details in there that mm-hmm. if you get stuck there, oh, there's yeah, like Haunted Mansion, lots sure. to look at. Yeah. All right. So you kind of get an idea how this is going to work. Um, I threw him an easy one. Now here's a one that's a little bit, maybe a little bit more nuanced since we're uh, in fantasy land. Mickey's Philharmagic. Mm. Suck doesn't suck. I got to answer. Charles, lock in your answer. Okay. So, Sean? 
You said doesn't I, I suck. I said it doesn't suck. I mean, I I remember very specifically the first time I went to the park and that attraction was open and I thought it was like one of the best things I'd ever seen. So, and I still think that it's one of the best things in Fantasyland. I might I think it is my favorite thing in Fantasyland actually. So, Really? I love it. Yeah, I think it's really good. I mean, it's 90s Disney movies that I grew up with, and it's like a sing-along, and it's not necessarily the most overdone songs, and they do, you know, some of the more... Mickey's Full Horror Magic is a sing-along? Well, I mean, you you can sing. I sing along. Well, you can I sing. I mean, I, I sing along. Like, it's music that's happening, and it's like, because it's a Philharmonic with Philharmonic Magic, so the music, and I like it. I don't, I don't get what sucks about it, but... We'll see. All right, Charles, you're holding up the, uh, sucks. Yeah, well, admittedly, I haven't done it, but um, if the mere it, concept of it, if it didn't suck, I would have done it by now. So that's <laughs> my rationalization. All right, Steve. Uh, I'm saying doesn't suck. It's not my favorite thing, like Sean, but you know, it's fun. And I, I imagine if it's you're on a Disney vacation, and you haven't done it in a while. It's a fun 3D thing with the water splashes on you and. All right. the cor- The correct answer is it sucks. Yes. So one point for Charles, two de- <laughs> one demerit each for Sean and Steve. And just so you know, at the end of the season, the one with the most demerits gets fired. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. Maybe. Um, all right. So moving on. Enchanted Tales with Belle sucks or doesn't suck. Charles, you look unsure. Okay, well... Um, you said suck. The, no, once again, this is something that I've never actually been through because it's not really my thing. Like, me saying it sucks is, you know, it probably sucks for me. I've never had any desire to do it yet, but it's also totally unfair for me to, like... So. Oh, I I'm, think the... And actually, you know what? Instead of firing them, I think the punishment for demerits should be... Riding the rides? That they have to go through and ro- do everything they said sucked. Right. <laughs> All right, so suck. Uh, Sean doesn't suck. I said it doesn't suck. Um, the uh, I mean, it's it, it's really well made for one, but I love the concept that like that's the beginning stages of dinner for the Beast Castle. Like that's the lead up, that's the storyline. So it starts in this attraction and it leads over into because Belle's getting ready for the dinner, which she'll be going to at the beast castle so when you get to the beast castle if you're going to eat there it's the other half of that storyline and i just think that's a really neat concept and i think it's neat because it involves the audience if you like that i don't want to necessarily get picked when i'm there but i like seeing other people participate and make a fool of themselves like pretending to be the characters from the movie so oh if it if it involves the audience yeah then i double down on suck (laughs) (laughs) charles's worst fear Getting picked for audience participation, he won't do it. Um, Steve? I switched my vote. I originally held up suck, but I switched to doesn't suck because it's not really for me. And so if I go off my own personal opinion, I'll go with this. But for the three-year-old girl that gets to be in part of Belle's story and participate with her favorite princess, you got to go with doesn't suck. The correct answer is doesn't suck. And here's why it doesn't suck, because it, they do an amazing job with special effects and story immersion um, that is very unusual, mm-hmm. uh, even by Disney standards, I think. Um, you know, the whole, the, whole th- the whole show they do, um, I, th- I think they really did a great job with it. I was impressed with it. I mean, it's not something I'm going to go on over and over again. Again, as Steve pointed out, I'm not the audience. Right. But when I think about the audience uh, and the way they do it, the special effects they use um, from the, you know, the, the talking Lumiere and the wall that opens up, the wall that opens up and the way it's done um, is uh, so that's the correct answer is it doesn't suck. Um, but since it was brought up uh, that, uh, you know, it's a kind of a, in a way, a precursor to be our guest. That is my next one. Be our guest restaurant. Sucks. Doesn't suck. Ooh, that's tough. Actually, you haven't done it? No, I've done it. I'm, not, I'm wincing because it, this one is difficult for me. Okay. Um, All right, so let's go to that. Okay. Because we have we have two... Well, I don't know. Steve, Steve, Steve is being switching. wishy-washy yeah. about you've this. Got to stick, you've got to stick with your original. Okay. First, okay, first instinct, You've got to stick Steve. with your original. Okay. The first. whole idea of this is, is going with instincts. Okay. And that's why you don't know what it is I'm going to ask. Okay. So you're not looking for the right answer. You're looking for the immediate answer. Yeah. 
So we've got uh, Charles and Steve saying it sucks, and Sean saying it doesn't suck. So we'll start with you, Charles. Okay. Um, to its benefit, the theming is completely awesome in the majority of it. There are a couple disappointing aspects, though. One is the... Food? Um, <laughs> well, no, that's the thing, though, is uh, theming-wise, the, the, it does have that one section that I find completely disappointing that I've eaten in, which is... What's it called? It's not the library. The West the, Wing. The West Wing, yeah. Is the West Wing is the dark one. It's dark. Yeah. Um, uh, Martin Sheen wasn't even there. But, um, <laughs> sorry. But, uh, yeah, no, the thing is, the, the food is really, really underwhelming. Um, it's, I just really wanted to enjoy it. And walking in, I really did the, the exterior, the walk across the bridge to it. Every single thing about it says, this is going to be an awesome experience. And you don't have to work hard to keep that emotion up. And yet they manage to make it so mediocre food-wise that it really brings it down. So it sucks because it could be something amazing. It could be one of the best things on property, but it's not and that angers me sometimes. Oh, so. apparently. Um, Steve? I also, I, I switched, but then I switched back to uh, sucks because my gut reaction was it's just gotten so much worse uh, since it first opened that I'm just, it sucks for that reason, is that go back to your original menu, recipes, and every service, and everything else, and then, you know, you'd get one of these, but just out of frustration, sucks. Sean, doesn't suck. I said it doesn't suck. I mean, I just think, I, for me, the first thing is, like, visually, there's nothing like that at any theme park I've really been to. I mean, it looks just like the movie. Like, it's exact. I mean, it's like getting thrown into it. Mm -hmm. And so for people, I mean, there's a ton of people that, like, Beauty and the Beast is their favorite movie. And they just did such a good job with the restaurant. I've never had a problem with the food. I didn't. I mean, it's okay for what it is. As, as far as lunch goes, my dinners have always been good there. But, um... I, I love it. I think it's it's just so well created of a concept and everything. I wish Disney did more immersion stuff like that by comparison to other stuff they come out with where I'm like, okay, where am like Cosmic Rays has that frog piano player or whatever it is. So I'm like, like that Sunny kind Eclipse. Of, whatever it is. The so, frog yeah, piano they, uh, I, like, I don't care about that kind of stuff. Like I'd rather see Disney movie stuff. And I'm like, well, you see, where you're Sunny Eclipse it. is the best thing at, Cosmic rays, <laughs> but uh, the correct answer is both. I'm looking at my camera and trying to. Um, if you're going for uh, breakfast or lunch, it sucks. All the theming in the world can't fix what's wrong with that entire experience for breakfast or lunch. It's just bad. Um, dinner, um, I'm going to say doesn't suck because. While the food is not as good as it was when it first opened, um, it's not terrible. And when you have that theming and that immersion at dinner time, it's an entirely different experience than the conveyor belt experience you have at breakfast and lunch. So that is the correct answer. Um, all right, so let's do... Um, under the Sea, Journey of the Little Mermaid. And we have unanimous consent. Everybody says, doesn't suck. Sean, why doesn't it suck? Uh, again, I think when they did the new Fantasyland expansion, they did a great job with immersion on stuff. And it looks just like the movie. So, or whatever. And when you're in there, like, it's, it's really well done. I mean for the most I mean if you like look up and you're looking for problems then you'll you'll find them in there but overall I mean I think it's great for people who love that movie and it's isn't a great it just, break from isn't it just um, Finding Nemo from Epcot with a paint job it is in a lot of ways but I like Little Mermaid better than Finding Nemo so I enjoy like that movie and I do like that the line as well is very mm -hmm. it, it's immersive but it also has the a cue. game the fro the crab game is going on like on the screen so if there is a long wait then you know at least there's that for kids so Steve I said doesn't suck as well uh, I think it's a really well done ride the theming it's very vibrant and I think little kids love that and uh, along with you were saying the queue is so great and if you compare that to California Adventure California Adventure of the same ride I would say suck for it I just think that that queue is very cheap and not well done where ours is a fully immersive experience mm -hmm. and so I enjoy it and Charles oh uh, yeah uh, doesn't suck it does not suck um, I'm not a, I'm not a huge Little Mermaid fan 
Uh, I mean, it's You're all not. Right. It, surprisingly, <laughs> I know. Surprisingly, no. I mean, uh, I saw it when I was a kid. It's not like I don't have huge nostalgia for it or anything like that. But even given that, I enjoy myself every single time I'm on it. It's just a very, um, it's you know the the theming is good, the cue theming is good, the immersion's good. But mainly, it's just a simple, fun thing to do. I've never had a bad experience with it. So, yep. and the correct answer is it does not suck. I love, I love that attraction. Um, I love it better than Voyage of the Little Mermaid, the show over in uh, oh, yeah. Hollywood Studios. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and even though the one out in Disneyland is the same thing, I love it on both coasts. Yeah. Because uh, there's one in California Adventure. And of course, you know, we've worked with uh, Jody Benson. She's done a couple of shows for our podcast cruises. She did a wonderful special concert for our 20th anniversary at Epcot. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of biased because I adore that woman. Uh-huh. Um, but uh, yeah, that is the correct answer. It does not suck. So we got unanimous consent on that. So there you go. That is a, a look at, and we're not going to do this every week. It'll be every so often just to kind of change things up. I really like the idea. I hope you did too. Uh, that is our uh, best and worst of, of Disney World Suck Doesn't Suck edition. So that will do it for our show for today. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next week with another episode of the best and worst of Walt Disney World. Have a great week, everyone.